What is going on, Luna Takes? Guys, I come to you all the time with the news on Luna Classic, and I hope you use that to make wise investment decisions. I told you on Friday I thought something was coming. I told you on Thursday I thought something was coming. You're up 10% now if you listened to what I thought was coming. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm doing the same risk-based thing that you are doing. So when I say I think this is going to happen, I'm telling you for myself. I'm not telling you for you. Don't make your investment decisions based on me. However, if you believe what I'm saying feels accurate, then do your own research. Follow the same quote unquote breadcrumbs, if you will. And if you agree, then make your investment. If you did, you're up pretty big today. So uh, let's talk about what's going on and why is everything pumping? Well, the answer to that, before we hit that, if you would hit that like button, helps tr uh, trend me in the algorithm, et cetera, et cetera, and brings in new investors to Luna Classic. But what is happening? Over the weekend, there was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, presidential candidate in the United States. Now, why would that not be a black swan event causing a dump in the market? Well, he's a pro-crypto candidate. He survived. It was uh, serious, serious. However, what ended up happening is, according to Polymarket and according to the uh, risk-based gaming websites that are out there, they gave him a shot to win that went from about 57% all the way up to 70%. By the end of this, he's created himself uh, a, a, a sympathetic sort of uh, feel as a candidate. And if he maximizes that, and, and by the way, I am not certain that he will because he's still Donald Trump and he's still going to do wild stuff. However, if he does and he can stay out of his own way, he's been given a leg up in this election. And because of that, the statements that he's been making and the fact that he's going to be and continue to be at the Bitcoin uh, 2024 in Nashville from the 25th to the 27th, that means that our pro crypto candidate is going to speak to us. That's a big deal. And also, as long as we've got that certainty and that feeling and that clarity that he's going to be the next candidate uh, and he's going to be the next president, then guess what? That means innovation and digital assets come back to the United States. Now, I'm not trying to take away from anything from you if you're overseas, but that will allow American companies who have fled the United States to come back to where they started in order to build in the United States. And to be fair, building in the United States and building in China are the two best places in the world for this type of innovation. No disrespect to the European Union, no disrespect to, to, to the African nations, no disrespect to the South American nations, but this is where the money is concentrated. It's concentrated in the United States, it's concentrated in China. That's the best thing for crypto. We all get a benefit from that. So make sure you hit this like button and let's kick this off and let's talk about what's going on. Okay, so first thing, I don't have any update for you over the Terraform Labs thing. They are still looking for buyers. I don't know that they have a buyer or not, but let's move on. The SEC uh, has clarified why they think that Terra Luna Classic is a security, and the answer is very simple. It's, it's, it's as simple as anything you could possibly see. Staking. I told you guys I've been talking about it for a year and a half now, and I've been telling you that that's exactly why the SEC is coming after crypto for staking and rewards. Also, Ethereum, the ETF, which will probably be approved this week, uh, is same thing with the Ethereum ETF. It's not that uh, they had to remove all staking protocols from it in order for them to get approval from the SEC because this that, to them, creates an expectation of profit. And if you go into this article, which I will not get deep into, but they, they even say that exactly. Matic tokens, and this is, they're talking about Matic tokens. This Matic tokens are expected to provide economic incentives on the Matic network. Without Matic tokens, there is no incentive for users to expend resources to participate in activities or provide services to the overall ecosystem of the Matic network. And then there is a staking protocol, which gets mentioned further down here on it. Same thing goes on for MANA. Same thing goes on for each and every one of these. Consensus is being sued for their MetaMask wallet. So, uh, you know, we'll keep you informed if there's anything that changes. But let's move on. Uh, the Oracle split, there, here's a change log right here. Now, of course, this is not active at this point, but here's uh, the new release of the Terad client has been created on the 10th of July. The release notes of the new version can be viewed here. You can go to GitHub and you can check that out. Key change in this version is the introduction of the Oracle split logic. According to Prop 12098 and 12114, the logic will divert block rewards to the Oracle pool and therefore slow down its depletion rate. This effectively reroutes short-term rewards to long-term rewards. Perfect idea. Uh, it goes at um, block height 19 million, uh, and 60,800. So uh, if if done, there we go. Uh, also, 
Uh, there is some discussion here about the, the independent Terra Community Classic website. I'm going to go talk to you about that right now now. Luna Classic Labs has voted yes. I believe this is no surprise to anyone. You know that I am uh, that I am a validator who probably one of the most engaged in the community um, in the topic of needing a to create a website for the Luna Classic community. And I agree with that, by the way. I'm not sure that David uh, is the guy for it. I'm not, you know, I don't know yes or no to that. I know that he's taking the initiative to do it. So that's the important part to me. All Notes, by the way, disagrees, and we're going to do something about that in just a moment. You all know that I am a validator who has been voluntarily giving up my profit for several weeks, and every week I donate 50% of my validator income, while many people just promise unrealistic things and keep all the profits for themselves. It's been many months of discussions. Every time I've communicated this topic more loudly, there have been various promises from various actors about how someone will do better, cheaper, or even for free. Unlike David, I've always been uh, uh, in the opinion that the community uh, should finance using community funds from the community pool, which should be used to fund projects for the benefit of this community. And this is exactly the case as a person who has been in the Lunk uh, Classic since the very beginning. <clears throat> I have to state a few objections, facts that are key in my decision. In this topic, I've always required a highly professional approach, openness, um, project man management at the highest level. This proposal comes from a person who is one of the most transparent people in the community. David appears to be a real person with real name, with real photo, with real company, and all information about him is available online. Open access. There is no actor in this community that provides more transparent communication and opportunities for discussion on the topic uh, than this one. Commonwealth Forum, X Post, X Space, emails. There's even a telegram, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, so you can go anywhere and find information about this website. Technically, there is no one no one better prepared project for a Terra Classic website than this one. There's no one who devotes more time than David. Uh, there's no uh, there is no competitive offer that is better, either in quality or financially long term. For this reason, I probably support this proposal. So if you are interested in it, there is a proposal. It's 12117. Now, um, here, there's a problem here. Okay. <laughs> and, and I gotta be, I gotta be honest with you guys. Uh, there is a problem to this. There is a governance up here and it is right here. Uh, message community pool spend. And what he's looking for is he's looking for 150,000 or 150 million, 909,090, uh, Luna classic in order to, um, to fund this. Now it's not gonna get funded this way. And you might be asking yourself, well, if you support it, why are, you know, why is that the case? Well, because this doesn't say anything. So, you know, uh, one of the problems and, and one of the reasons that, that you're getting all of these vetoes uh, or you're getting all of these no's from people, despite the fact that if you look at it, probably a good proposal is that it's not been fleshed out and it's not been treated uh, sufficiently as a proposal. Therefore, people are just saying, you know what? No. Uh, so, and, and I don't think that this passes it that way because all nodes is going to come in. They've said repeatedly, look, you, you want our votes, then you're going to have to do better. You have to you have to explain exactly what it is that you're doing here, and not just put up Cosmos dot distribution dot v one beta one dot community uh, message community pool spend. Like you you you've got to flesh out you know what it is that that is going to happen so that people can read through it and understand. And in fact, I mean you can come over here and you can look at uh, any one of these proposals. There's a reason here. David put up this proposal here twelve one one seven. We know what it is. We can see it right here, but you know, I think they want it cleaned up on, on the voting protocol. And, and of course, you know, some people don't even know to come to Commonwealth. So it, it's it's complicated, right? So uh, I, I think they want it to be simplified. But here you can see exactly what it is on 12117. And you should be voting yes. It's my opinion you should be voting yes. And again, uh, all nodes, we're going to get to that in just a moment. Let's talk about price action real quick. Uh, so on the price action, here you can see that we are now at 77.72, up 4% on the day. But this has been uh, since Friday. And, and since Friday, where were we at? Friday morning. Friday morning, I came to you guys and I told you, hey, look, this is what's happening right now. Well, guess what? Price is up 12% since then. So uh, shout out to everybody who's been uh, getting in here and 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 becoming a part of it because that we bounced off the 200 MA, got back above it, used it as support. You can see that. Uh, again, I told you guys that this is how, in my opinion, it was going to play out, right? We got the 200 MA right here and then boom, uh, took off from that spot. Now, there is going to be resistance up here in this area. So just be prepared that in the event that we can continue and by the way, you can see this volume node right here, and you can see that we are above that volume node. What does that mean? Well, that means that if we get past this range that we're in, you know, basically right now, which does appear that we've been able to do, then we've got this range right here. And what does that mean? It means there's not a lot of trade volume in that range. So what we should be able to do is shoot up into this spot at eight right there. So we should be able to at least run up into the eight range, which is the bottom of this previous uh, node of, of, uh, of this previous trading node 
And then if we successfully navigate that one, then the next one up here is going to be in that nine range. And then, of course, you know, as we get further and further and further, that's going to be up there where we drop that zero one more time. But we're on our way to that spot one more time with these moves. So shout out to everybody. Uh, looks like the reversal is in. Again, the markets are, are, are being... Um, they're being kind at this moment. Don't know if it'll stay, but uh, volume, we should note, down to 16 million while this pump is up about 7% on the day, 24 hour. Uh, same thing over here. We were up 4% at 1695, uh, but down in volume quite a bit. So you know, we still need volume, but at the same time, if it's buy pressure, then we're, then we're going to pump. If it's sale pressure, we're going to dump, you know, pretty simple. But uh, I would be watching for another continuation of this move. There's going to be some profit taking. You know, when you get this kind of hot sort of area here, and you can see right here, you've got um, this happened over here, and then we dump back down here. So this happened over here, and we're seeing it again. So there's probably a dump back down into this 72, 73, 74 sort of range before a continuation. So just remember, when I tell you this, I'm giving you kind of an idea. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. But uh, let's talk about the, the big thing on the uh, agenda, and that is Terra Casino. Terra Casino uh, is your place for risk-based gaming. Uh, if you want to use Luna Classic, Luna, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, BUSD, Polygonmatic, Security, ugh, USTC, USDT, and uh, Dogecoin. So if you are interested, then you can come over here, fund your wallet, make a deposit. I've attached my wallet. I'm going to make a deposit right now of like, it's only going to be like 20 bucks, but I'm going to go play some today. Uh, I'll be playing PVP poker. If you guys want to sign up in the description down below and let's play some poker today. You know, just, just check it out. Uh, watch me whoop that ass. If you know what I mean? Uh, so, um, make sure that you are checking it out. TerraCasino.io uh, for your uh, risk-based gaming. And you can play live casino. You can play slots. You can play game shows. A uh, whole bunch of different stuff that you can do. And you can see right here, people are doing wagers right now. There's a lot of activity. This, this is These are the live bets right here. Become a part of the community. And look at the levels on some of these guys. These guys, level 42. Like, these guys are playing some hardcore stuff. So, if you're interested, certainly go check it out. Now, Along with that, if you're looking to trade meme coins of any shape, size, form, or matter, then go to terraport.finance. This is the place, dog, uh, if you were looking to do that. And by the way, if you want to, you can come over here and uh, you can start doing some, some trading. Now, if you want to trade uh, some, some kind of uh, prospect of some sort over here, then come into your trading pool, uh, find your find the pairs that you want to trade, uh, and then make that trade. And then when you're done, make sure that you come over here, go to the launch pad, and click uh, on the quest here that claim your daily login bonus. Uh, keep earning points uh, to make sure that you are getting some of this rocket token when rocket launches. The light paper for rocket is going to be right there. You can check it out. This is tower defense game. I keep telling you guys, I love tower defense games. So. Uh, looking for that uh, and swap. This is where you get the plus 500 points. So swap $50 worth of tokens to earn rewards. So when you when you do that, what that looks like is come over here and then uh, from here, we're going to look at Terra and what pairing am I looking for? Let's go Terra and Lunk. So on Terra and Lunk, if I want to, I could sell. And I'm not going to, but if I, uh, if I wanted to, I could do like a max transaction here and I could trade um, up to 4,945 over here for... Uh, some Luna Classic. I have 1.2 million Luna Classic sitting in that wallet, about 10, 100 bucks. So uh, I have a I've little bit of it, not not a lot. Um, most of mine is staked, which we're going to get into in just a moment. But uh, if you want to do that, then you can come over here and do that. $50 a day uh, in trade volume, and then boom, you can have some for yourself. And in fact, if you want to, then there are plenty of different things that you are able to do. Like, for example, do you have some rack off? Guys, I'm going to give you information that the veterans know, and that is staking that's where you make a lot of cryptocurrency and cryptonomy.finance allows you to stake a lot of cryptocurrency and earn a spectacular yield off of it and i'm going to show you what i mean right now you guys know i've been a big fan of ondo all right guys so my apy on ondo right now is i have 11,500 ondo what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the maximum amount in here uh, I'm going for six months. Again, like I think that the market is going to have a big rip that I want to get this back out. Actually, I'm going to go with nine months because that gives me up until March of next year. And guys, if you follow me, you know I like March of next year as a big moment in crypto. So I'm going to stake this 71.8% yield on the interest rate for this. I'm going to continue. I'm going to put this in here. 
All right, guys, I am now holding and I am now staking uh, 11, I'm sorry, 11,500 on dough that will be available to me on April 6th of 2025. And by that time, there will be 71% more on dough. Now, will the price go up? I don't know. I, I don't know if the price is going to go up. However, uh, I will have more on dough in case the price goes down or whatever happens. That's what the benefits of staking are. Guys, it is imperative upon you. Make sure that you're staking your crypto. Use Cryptonomy.Finance to stake your crypto, or you may end up regretting it. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right. Check out Cryptonomy.Finance today, because that's how you get Rackoff. Uh, if you want some Rackoff over here and you want to trade it to long, same thing, you know, just uh, the same thing. Um, make yourself a, a, a transaction and then boom, come back over here and claim that uh, five plus 500 swap over there. Now, let's get into the important part of this. Uh, and we're gonna talk about lunk burn today. And guys, I wanna stress right now, one of the things that keeps me kind of motivated to, to say that this is gonna happen is this right here. You see that top right there? Then you see this top right here? And you see this top right here? Well, that means that we've got this, this sort of downward trend. Now that's not great to have that downward trend, but when you're down here at the bottom of that trend, then there is an exponential move coming up here pretty soon that's going to take you into these new levels okay um so i just want to say that i i think that it would be real cool uh if you guys uh recognize that that you know we're on this trend and if this is the reversal and by the way when you look at this more broadly we'll look at it on the the daily chart over here because it's the same thing it's the same thing it's the same chart i'm just showing you from a different perspective here but if you just grant here that we had this big move, this big spike, right? Then we had this come down with a couple of little drops, right? Taking it to the 200 MA. Then we had this big move up here. And then we had a couple of drops taking it down here below the 200 MA. Now we're trying to get into that reversal. So that reversal to me means that we're probably going to do something like this and this and this. So we end up at, you know, three zeros, 19, three zeros, 20, somewhere around there pretty soon. So just, and, and, and I'm not saying that it will happen. I'm just saying that this is a pattern. This is a repeating pattern that continues to repeat over and over again. It's a question of finding the bottom and then rallying back to the top. Now, if I were to give a guess of where that top is, if I were to uh, say, well, I think that it's going to be on a certain, you know, at a, or on or at a certain spot, by the way, it should be up here a little bit. Uh, but if it were going to be up on a certain spot, then I'm going to say first of the month when we see another big amount of burns from Binance, because that generally is the spot where you get that spike in price. Uh, and if you come over here and you look, you'll see, you know, sometimes right there, right at the beginning, you get the, the little rip or something like that, that build up that FOMO towards the end of the month where they're like, oh, I don't know how many are going to be burned, but if it's a lot, you know, then we'll see what happens. But that's, um, this is what I think is, is, is happening. So um, it, if we can now move on to the final piece, and that is right here. And I feel like this, um, I feel like I've done you a disservice because I tell you, constantly that in the event that you do not like who you're validating with then change right well i did that and then i thought wait a minute who am i staked with because i don't i didn't, I didn't realize who i was staked with turns out i have 10 million staked with all notes which is like i, I only got like 15 million tokens I've, I've got again i've got uh you know i've been i've been buying meme coins and stuff with my lunk uh i take it out but here's the here's the thing i've got 10 million uh staked with all notes and i don't like their decision making so what the fuck am I doing here? Like, am I out of my mind? Who do I like? Well, I like Luna Classic Labs. Uh, I, I, I enjoy Lunk Live. You know, I, I, I seem to be in lockstep with these guys most of the time when it comes down to uh, the decision-making process. So I'm going to take my, um, uh, and, and by the way, I, I did this and I was not able to redelegate. I don't know why I wasn't able to redelegate. It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm going to have to undelegate and I'm going to undelegate all of it. When it's undelegated, um, after I, I get that back, then I'm going to delegate it and I'm going to submit this now. Uh, when I did AUTC, because I'm an idiot. Uh, way to go, Bleaves. All right, there we go. Try that again. We're Luna Classic here. We're going to do all of it and we're going to get rid of this. We're going to take that undelegation. We're going to get out of here. Uh, we're not going to do all nodes anymore. Uh, we're going to go use somebody who is more in line with my beliefs in what is good for for this ecosystem and i don't think at this point that they are so um now that i have that done 
after 21 days, when that is completed, then I'm going to redelegate to Lunk Live, to Luna Classic Labs. I'm going to just spread it around and see what happens. But I just do not agree anymore with what is going on at all nodes. And I don't think that they are looking out for the better interest of us as investors. I'm not going to say they're not looking out for the blockchain. I'm going to say that they're not looking out for us as investors. Okay. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I've done. Again, if you haven't, go check out Terraport Finance. Go check out Terra Casino. Uh, the links are in the description down below. These guys are doing uh, they're doing the 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 Lord's work, if you will, uh, on on helping to burn some of these tokens and stuff like that. Uh, something that you do not see, by the way. And I think it's important to point out Terra Casino in all this time has burned more tokens than All Notes. All Notes doesn't care about us. So um, I just want to point that out. So. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but I am a passionate person for the Luna Classic community. So if you're passionate too, let me know in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.